This is not your grandmother's potato can. This little thing has 100 watts of blue laser power. That's ridiculous. I don't trust it. Six months ago, we built the world's first half-scale Cybertruck. Since then, we've been bombarded with questions like this. And the internet has been flooded with pictures like this. So when Stay of Survival asked us if we could build the ultimate zombie survival vehicle, we said, hell yeah. Все говорят, что лучшее оружие – это оружие, которое не надо использовать, но я не согласен. У нас новейшая разработка пневматической пушки, которая может выстрелить 45-мм объект на высокой скорости. Эта пушка была разработана с партнерской компанией, и я хочу показать, чего она способна. This is not your grandmother's potato cannon. This is a fully welded and machined aluminum pneumatic air cannon. Let's see what it can do. Load some apples. Oh my god! That apple just blew up a piece of concrete. Does anyone else just like taste apple? Oh my god! <laughs> Our cyber truck needs to shoot more than an apple. So we actually machined this piece of Delrin, which is terrifying. So I'm gonna load this, I'm gonna go outside, close the garage door, and we're gonna fire it with all the cameras filming. Three. Two, one. That thing is freaking awesome. It's gotta be the most powerful potato cannon I've ever used. Now the question is, how are we gonna actually attach it to the Cybertruck? And more importantly, how are we gonna be able to aim it while it's on the Cybertruck? This video was created with support from State of Survival, a zombie-themed survival strategy game available on mobile. An evil company called Gigacorp released a zombie virus that threatens the entire world. As some of the few survivors, it's up to us to rebuild our homes, fend off zombies, defeat Gigacorp, and save humankind. You'll start by developing your settlements, building your own zombie stronghold to fend off the flesh eaters. We can then team up and join alliances with other players, and of course, venture off into the unknown to defeat the zombies. It's free to play and there are tons of fun events to win rewards to help you progress. Plus, it doesn't matter when or where you play. Unlike other strategy games, Stay of Survival also integrates tower defense elements, which makes it super fun and engaging. If you love zombie hunting, you can experience battles with huge amounts of zombies in the Explorer Trail. There are also hidden secrets and puzzles for even the most clever players. Explore the world and make your own decisions. There are so many different storylines waiting for you. Support our channel today by downloading Stay of Survival now using my link below. Plus, if you use my creator code, the Hacksmith SOS, you'll redeem an in-game starter pack worth $49.99. These packs are limited and for new users only. First come, first serve. You also have a chance to win one of 30 Hacksmith t-shirts or one of 20 $100 Amazon gift cards. By downloading using my link below, you'll be entered automatically. Good luck. A few months ago, Ian picked up this. This is a hydraulically controlled a uh, gimbal for a fire truck nozzle. This thing can shoot hundreds of gallons of water. Now all we need to do is figure out how to mount the cannon to this.
querido diario, en dos cortos días vuelvo a casa, libre de este infierno. Cuánto añoro los dulces abrazos de mi mujer, y no puedo esperar a ver al hijo que me ha dado, al que aún no he conocido. I don't know about you guys, but this feels a bit too 1940s for me. This is a Cybertruck after all. Let's add some new technology and bring this thing into the 21st century. To improve the Cybertruck in the future, we will be working with the King of Lasers on YouTube, Styro Pyro. He sent us a video that shows his progress. Hey everybody, it's Styro Pyro here. Earlier this year, I was able to get my hands on some next generation laser diode arrays. Now these arrays are absolutely terrifying, so far beyond the highest laser danger ratings that they have to be operated with total respect, and high OD laser goggles are an absolute must. Wow, that's crazy! I did not expect to see the day where I could shoot through metal with a handheld laser. For my part in the collab, I sourced the array and built the driving circuitry for the build. It's actually quite similar to the setup I used in my 100 watt handheld laser video, and the driver provides a constant current to the laser diodes to keep him running happy. A quick test shows that the laser works great, but I can't run it here long without a heatsink or it'll burn itself up. Now I'm not much of a machinist, but this is where the hacksmith gets to use his magic to come up with a mounting and cooling system for this crazy array. Now the hacksmith has been operating high powered lasers for years, so he knows to treat these unbelievable powers with respect. So without further ado, I'm handing over this piece of insanity to the hacksmith. As a matter of fact, we've recently received a shipment from Styropyro. Let's open it up and see where we're at. So we've got the laser driver, but more importantly, the diode. Wow, look at that. So this is the laser diode. This little thing has 100 watts of blue laser power. That's ridiculous. As Star Power mentioned, this diode puts out a lot of heat. So we'll need a way to cool it. To do that, we'll go the easy and efficient way of using water cooling. This water cooling loop is made of standard PC components and should dissipate the heat pretty well. Let's put it all together. First, we need to attach connectors to the driver. Cover this up to make sure I don't get anything in the lens. Then, we need to wire up the diode to the driver. Finally, we can mount the diode onto the heatsink. Wow, this thing is beautiful. We've got the entire laser set up in the shipping container because it's too dangerous to be in the same room when testing. So we're gonna lock this up, leave a camera in there, and hopefully get some good footage. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh 
he's on fire. Nice. Three, two, one. Bogdan's finished installing the laser into our Cybertruck, officially bringing it into the 21st century. This laser is super dangerous. That's why it's really important to be using proper laser safety goggles whenever you're using any kind of laser. I'm gonna go somewhere else anyways, because I don't trust it. <laughs> Woo. Bad day for safety chicken. Aim down slightly. There we go. There we go. He's having a bad day. All right, that's been pretty awesome so far, but let's try using them together. We've got a concrete tower here. We're gonna light it on fire using the laser and then blast it to bits using our pneumatic cannon. Let's load her up. That was freaking awesome. We've militarized, hey, hey. We've militarized our half-scale cyber. We've militarized our half-scale cyber truck with this awesome pneumatic air cannon and this amazing laser dial that we got from Styro. It's <laughs> awesome laser. Oh god, it's looking right at me. I'm glad I unplugged that. Anyway, big thank you to Styro Pyro for sending us this awesome laser module. If you guys have never heard of him, you're in for a treat. Go subscribe to his channel right now. He does everything with lasers, and he's the best at it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys subscribe.